Today is uh, Tuesday, November uh, 17th, 2015, and we're here with Jeff Miller, Vice President of Marketing and Communications at uh, Arion, uh, to talk about the Supersonic Business uh, business Jeff. Uh, Jeff, the Supersonic has been a promise for many years. Uh, is, it, is it finally coming to reality, and where are you guys with the Arion program today? Well, Arion has been doing the research to develop the aerodynamic technology for a lot of years, a lot of flight testing with NASA, uh, wind tunnel testing and so forth. In the last year we made huge strides back about this time in uh, 2014 we reached an agreement with Airbus Group to provide their engineering resources to us and since that time our, our own engineering team and the Airbus team has made huge progress so it's getting closer to reality all the time. That's great. Uh, have you found an engine that's able to have the low bypass ratio for supersonic flight in a day when engines seem to be growing, the cores seem to be heavier with with really heavy pressure ratios? Is that an issue that's coming up and can you find the proper engine for this, for this application? Well, we found a number of engines, which is to say engine cores. We can use existing engine core technology today, but as you note, the current high bypass ratios, the fan size is much too big for a supersonic application. So that's where the adaptation needs to be and we're working on that and we think we are well on in terms of having a solution that will give us the necessary thrust, performance for range as well as meeting the current noise standards. What are, you, what are your current expectations in terms of range and speed for the airplane and what are your, what are your targets? Well, the t they're, they're the same. Uh, we, we're, we're designing a Mach 1.5 uh, business jet uh, with a range supersonically of 4,750 nautical miles. There are some parts of the world where supersonic flight is prohibited, and actually in, in those areas, uh, the uh, most efficient cruise speed is Mach 0.95, which of course is faster than anything else today. Uh, and you actually have an increase in range. You gain in efficiency, you can go up to 5,300 nautical miles. You've had some unique uh, unique technology with your wing and laminar flow. Is that still a, a feature on the airplane? And uh, how does that play into the future and the efficiency of this airplane? It is the essential component that gives this airplane the efficiency. And of course, if it, this has been a challenge for a, a supersonic jet. Uh, you have to have efficiency in order to have uh, reduce your fuel consumption, have good range, have good subsonic performance, and laminar flow accomplishes all of those things. So actually, it's, a, it's essential for this airplane for supersonic, but we think there are applications also in the subsonic realm for improving efficiencies, and Airbus thinks so also, which is why they have such interest in this technology. Great. And what can we, finally, what can we expect from Ariane over the next five years, and uh, where do you see the program is going from a timetable and development? Well, our, our plan is within the next five years to be in the, in the air, in the flight test, and then uh, by uh, 2023 we'll be certified and, and in service. And we're making really good progress now towards those objectives. That's great. Thank you so much for your time, Jeff. Hey, thank you.